Welcome back YouTube, it is Deanna. This is a quick announcement to the, the giveaway being over. Um, so congratulations to the winners. I will notify you or send you a message um, and I will get the prizes out. Most likely they'll be mailed out tomorrow. And the next giveaway will be when I do reach 100 subscribers, unless I just get frustrated and want to get rid of the palette <laughs> because it is an awesome palette and it is discontinued. In case you don't know, that prize will be the Urban Decay um, naked palette, the original one, the one that with the brown velvet packaging. I'm trying to make sure I'm looking in the mirror behind the ring light so that it doesn't look like I'm looking this way when actually I'm looking at the camera. So if my eyes are looking wonky, that's why I'm trying to get this set up right. Um, also to announce, this is also a response to my Throwback Thursday um, beginner's eyeshadow look because there are a few things I do different but not much and I am going to also incorporate that with a get ready with me and I know my hairline is looking all sorts of crazy today um, just so you can see what I'm talking about with the differences and so I'm going to just jump into it and I am going to try and be quick and so I still use eye primer that's the first thing amazingly amazingly I forgot to put face primer on today. I did my entire facial routine. I put my beauty oil. I mixed that with my foundation. And as I'm applying it, I'm like, shoot, I didn't put primer on. And my skin has not been good lately. This whole area, well, without foundation, I don't know if it's showing through or not, but this whole area is red. Um, and my chin is still red. And I'm thinking it's eczema. Because eczema usually... Um, I know I can't put on eye primer and talk at the same time. Eczema usually um, shows up on me, like in my creases. It used to be like behind my ear, my nose, um, like behind my knees and my elbows, the creases in my elbows, that type of thing. And so I'm thinking it's eczema because when I smile, this area here is where most of the redness and the little bumps were, starting from the crease of my nose all the way down. And so I'm not sure yet. And I'm still exfoliating, cleansing. I haven't changed any products I'm using. And I'm really hoping that that's what it is. The weather has been warm. Then at night it's cold. So there's just a lot of things going on right now. So that's the primer. Um, I used to do lid, <laughs> my crease, and then my highlight. There are only the only difference now is that I do my transition color first, and before I didn't even use a transition color. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Born This Way palette, which I love, and I'm going to take Weekender, this shade right here, on a fluffy brush. There is some fallout, but I do tap my brush and I sweep. I kind of place my transition color and then I go back and forth. Transition color, depending on the shade, I sometimes do take it all the way up into my brow bone, which helps this also um, serve as my highlight. And I probably should have just did one eye at a time. The transition color for me is a color that gets completely covered up unless I also use it as a highlight. When I sweep it like this, it prevents it from looking crepey because how my lids have extra space, extra skin, sometimes when I'm sweeping shadows, it may skip. The brush may skip across my skin, making it look like the eyeshadow is not smooth. But that's, the, that's just an extra skin issue for me. And you can see it when I go this, well, I don't know if you can, but in the outer corner, this skin right here kind of wants to fold over the same on this side. And so when I lay it this way, where I press the brush against it, it helps alleviate that problem. Helps eliminate that problem. I'm like always talking to riddles. There is like a lot of powder in this pan. I do have a washcloth here. I'm going to tap that into the pan. I'm going to wipe my brush off and then I'm going to take Rift this color here and also use that 
instead of when I used weekender I did the brush sideways and twirled it around when I do rift because this is going to be more of a crease color I dip my brush straight in and I still tap I still don't know how to flick but that didn't change and then I will take the brush straight forward and put that directly into the crease but because it's a fluffy brush it will also blend itself out so it's not only just in the crease it's also blending a little bit above the crease and so I'm going to do that a few times with this color and I'm hoping these colors are showing up on camera like they're showing up down here in the, in the mirror that I'm looking at and I am blending this also above the crease like this area up here because I do still have that extra space. I am sweating. I don't, I'm hoping I'm not looking like a grease ball. Because I feel like I am. My thermostat is set on 78 and I have an oscillating fan over there, but of course it's not blowing directly on me. I'm just glad it's quiet today because sometimes it's noisy when I first started up because of how I have it angled. If you're, I think I said that in the Throwback Thursday eyeshadow video, if you have a problem blending your colors, these blend very smoothly and I am turning into a grease ball. If you have a trouble blending, clean your brush off or get a, another brush that doesn't have any shadow on it. Go back to the previous color you used, which is, this is Weekender, and take that along the edges of the darker shade. And that will help blend that out if you're having trouble blending shadows or just take a clean brush and just go back and forth over that area without adding any of the previous shadow okay so I'm going to that's me tapping the shadow out of the palette and off the brush so next I'm going to take ooh, what am I going to take I'm going to take Drift, this color here, with a flat shade of brush. This is a big brush. I do have a smaller one here. Because I keep thinking I have so much lid space, but then it doesn't always go where I want it to go. Okay, so I picked up... This is Drift <laughs> on this brush. <laughs> so hopefully it goes where I want it to go, which actually it will go where I place it, right? And it doesn't look... I can't really see where it's going, what it's doing. The other day I wore, um, I used the Urban Decay Naked Palette and I used Hustle on my lid and into my crease. And I did have other colors on too from that palette. And I went out to a munch for just hanging out in Delaware. And someone says, oh, I love that purple on your lid. I'm like, you see purple? Because I didn't see it. I mean, I saw the shade, but to me, I didn't... I wasn't able to identify the color and sometimes I wonder if I'm border, borderline colorblind. To me it looked like a grayish green or something <laughs> and so I, I don't know and every time I go to the eye doctor they say my vision is fine, my color perception is fine but secretly, well not secretly because I'm letting you guys know too, but I wonder about my color perception. And so you'll notice on some of my videos, and even the Throwback Thursday videos, I'll be like, uh, this color looks like, well, you tell me what it looks like, because I don't know. Because I really have a hard time describing what colors look like to me. I'll see something that I think is red, and somebody will be like, no, that's like a coral color. And I'm like, really? So I, I don't know. And to me, this looks kind of dual chrome. <laughs> so I really don't know what color it is. And so I'm just packing this all over. From to me, it looks like I'm. It's not right here, and so that's what I'm trying to do. And I think I'll take a smaller brush, and I still do take my lid color. I'm in a nine minutes. I just, I still do take my lid color up into the crease, so that when I look up, you can still see hopefully the lid color. So this is my crease right here and this is the lid color and I do take it a little above 
the crease. So I'm going to take a smaller brush. <laughs> I am shiny. And my shirt's crooked. My hairline's crooked. I'm just a mess. So this is a, a smaller shader brush. And I'm taking that same color. It's called Drift. I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting. Because right here it looks like I don't have shadow. And I'm wondering if it's just the lighting. What else can I babble about while I'm doing this? And right here it looks like there's no shadow either. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring my eyeliners out here. That's probably just as well because this video is going to be long. And then sometimes I will actually sweep it this way just to help blend it into, well not blend it, but to blend it in with the crease color and the transition color. And I do this very gently because I don't want to necessarily take the color higher up. I just want to make sure that it's there and that everything is blended together. And this is a clean brush. And what I'm going to do is just lightly, very lightly, just go over everything. So that's it for this video. I am sweaty. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> one day I'll just do one complete eye and then come do the other eye um, so that the video is not super long. So that was my eye look with three. Oh, ooh. I'm like, can I say four brushes? But there's a fifth one I had here. This is just a dome shape brush. And this one I like to use for my outer corner. And so the way I do eyeshadow now, just to recap really quickly, I do the transition shade, my crease color, my lid, um, and then my outer V. If I'm doing a completely separate highlight color than my transition color, I'll do that after the transition color. So I think I'm going to take, I'm kind of scared to do that. <laughs> I'm going to take Jet <laughs> with the dome shape brush. And I like this brush because when I'm doing outer V, I take it straight in, tap it, because I can get it directly where I want it because of the shape of the brush. And so I probably shouldn't have been scared to do this. And I'll start in the outermost V area and then press upward a little bit and also press downward along my lash line a little bit. And that is how, and then sometimes I'll go back and forth, and that is how I do my outer V and hope that I don't look like a raccoon. All right, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. I tap it, then I drag it up, tap up, tap, drag down, tap, drag down, up, right over here. Just joking, not really. <laughs> so I'll tap, drag down, tap, drag up, tap, drag down, tap, drag up. It's kind of catchy. And so, <laughs> That's how, that's how I do my outer V, and then I'll go back with one of my blending brushes. I think I'm going to take this one, because I like the shape of this one, because it is more tapered than this one. This one blends and moves shadow where I want it, versus this one just simply blends. It doesn't really move unless I'm doing the little circular motions like these. And this one is really soft. Well, so is this one. This one is, <laughs> I should have known a Wayne Gosh brush. Ugh, it's so soft. And then I'll start from the outermost corner, sweep up. Instead of tap drag, I sweep up, sweep down, sweep it and blend it in the middle. Sweep up and sweep down and just push it towards my lid, the center of the lid. So that's how I do my outer V these days. Another six years may be different, but I doubt it. So hopefully this looks okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm looking... Let me hold up the camera. That might make sense. don't want to blind you. Hmm, I guess it looks all right. If you would like to see more looks with this palette, let me know. 
or as I'm getting ready and going out, I'll just probably do a quick video anyway like I used to when I was going to work. I'm not going to start babbling. Thank you guys for watching. Congratulations again to the winners. And I have not forgotten about the poly videos. I do have a lineup of things to do. I'm not going to babble. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.